back to my channel if you're new welcome and welcome to another episode of 31 nights of fright how's your day going your night going your month going i pretty much asked this almost every day but yeah i hope you're enjoying this spooky month make sure to let me know what's your favorite thing to do in october because i'm trying to start new traditions and all of that but yeah i'm carrie today obviously i tried to do kind of like a little skit at the beginning i don't know if i posted it or not but yeah, I've always wanted to try this costume. I love this movie so much. And yeah, I'm glad I got to do it. Anyways, Halloween's getting closer and closer. And I've got some spooky, some scary stories that took place on Halloween night. Before we get started though, I just want to say that if you're new here, hello, post some videos every week. And I'm uploading every single day this month. I usually do this every year to celebrate the best month ever. And if you're a horror lover, you're gonna love it here. If you just subscribed, welcome to our little spooky bell fam. I also have a podcast and merch and holly merch, 31 Eyes of Fried merch. The link to everything's gonna be in the description below and maybe in the comments as well. Now, if you want to hear these scary Halloween stories, just go ahead, turn off your lights and stick around. Halloween, a spooky time with lots and lots of spooky stories. And tonight we're going to be talking about three different Halloween stories that terrified me. At least I think one of them really terrified me to my very core, even though I know it's not true. Starting with the Buckley children. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I always say that. If it's not, I'm sorry, but the Buckley children. This one is the one that sent chills down my spine, especially when I look at the picture related to the story. It's insanely scary. I'll show you in a minute, but as the story goes, two children, Susan and John, decided to do something very gruesome as a Halloween joke. But what they did was absolutely horrible, and it was no joke, no prank. They beheaded their own mother, and they did that in front of the whole neighborhood. At first, people thought they had beheaded a dummy, but soon they realized it was an actual human being, their mother. This is just really creepy, and the picture is even creepier, like I said. Even though this is obviously not true, it still freaked me the F out. Now, next up, we have the 1962 Halloween murder. So as the story goes, a bunch of kids were just having fun, they were at a Halloween party, and that's when a mysterious man wearing a mask, a scary mask, crashed the party and killed seven kids with a kitchen knife. He was never found. This is one of the stories that makes me wonder, is this true or just an urban legend? Next up, we have the girl who stole your soul. So as the story goes, this girl was at a Halloween party with her best friend. They were drinking, dancing, just hanging out and having fun. She then met this very charming guy who treated her like a queen from the moment they met. He was wearing all black. He had a mask on, covering half his face. His eyes were red. She just assumed he was wearing contacts. Even though contacts weren't that common back then, something really creepy is that this guy's feet, they were like animals' feet. So she just assumed he was wearing special shoes, like a costume or whatever. They were together the whole night. People who didn't know they had just met thought they were boyfriend and girlfriend and that they were really in love. That's what it looked like. So he offered her and her friend a ride home. The strange thing too is that he kept talking about making her his queen forever and that all he needed was for her to say yes. This guy then gave her a diamond ring. She was like, of course I'll be your queen forever. Which, girl, what the hell, you literally just met this dude. But that's what she said. Her friend thought the whole thing was really weird and she swears it's almost as if her friend was hypnotized. So as soon as he put the ring on her finger, the sky turns red. Only for a second though. Like I said, she was acting like she was hypnotized by this mysterious man. So he dropped off her friend first and she really didn't want to leave her with this stranger. Just a random guy who showed up at the party and nobody knew him. She didn't want to leave her, but she promised she'd be okay. She said she had a good feeling about him. Long story short, this girl was never found ever again and her friend swears that was the devil himself 
and that he somehow tricked her into selling her soul. How scary is that? These type of stories always freak me out. What do you guys think happened to her? And do you think he was the devil? Definitely let me know your thoughts and also let me know which one of these was the scariest in your opinion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I spooked you a little. Thank you so much again and I will see you children tomorrow. Toodles!